From KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. And welcome back. Joining me now is Rebecca from the Alzheimer's Alliance of Smith County. And today we're talking about their upcoming training for faith leaders. First of all, welcome uh, to the uh, show. So uh, why are you guys creating this uh, training for faith leaders in the first place? Well, people of all backgrounds need education whenever it comes to dementia because it's not really intuitive to know how to help people who are living with dementia sometimes and their caregivers. Mm -hmm. And we know that faith communities pretty much all have a command to help the less fortunate. So we felt like this was a perfect fit mm -hmm. um, for us to reach out to faith leaders and give them some education about how to help their congregants and their families who may be living with dementia, which is going to be a pretty big population and it's growing. They mm -hmm. expect that one out of every three seniors will have some kind of dementia at some point in their lifetime. Okay. Um, so it's really a great time and a great project that we're excited about. All right, so you kind of touched upon it there, but what are some of the things that's going to be covered in the training? So in 2019, Tyler was recognized as a dementia friendly community by Dementia Friendly America. Mm -hmm. and and they have great guides for all different backgrounds, um, different sectors, and for example, with faith communities, they say, you know, if someone doesn't rem remember who you are, just mm -hmm. give them a reminder that kind of maintains their dignity, like you might say, oh, it's me, Rebecca, your favorite minister, or something gotcha. um, to that effect. Mm -hmm. And just with simple things like wearing name tags, creating environments that are easier for people with dementia to navigate. Um, we're also gonna take them through the virtual dementia tour so mm -hmm. they can get a sense of what it might be like. And we're gonna feed them lunch. And so we're really excited about um, the education we're able to provide these um, clergy people. All right, so sounds like a great program there. So uh, what are some of the resources you offer at the Alliance that you want people to be aware of? We have lots of different resources, um, and that's another thing we're going to make these um, clergy men and women aware of. Uh, we have free memory screenings, support groups, counseling. We have our day club program, mm -hmm. uh, Project Lifesaver locator bracelet for people who wander. Lots of different resources that we want um, faith leaders to be aware of so that they can tell their congregants about them as well. All right, first, so for those faith leaders, uh, uh uh, faith leaders who are watching now, uh, where can they find out more information? They can go to our website, alzalliance.org, or they can reach out to me. They can email me, Rebecca, at alzalliance.org, mm -hmm. or call our office at 903-509-8323. And this training is going to be February 21st from 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 1 p.m. Um, at our office at the Alzheimer's Alliance. All right, so if someone's not able to make it during those times, is there anything else that they can help out with? Uh... Sure, they can always reach out to me, and I can give them um, some of the resources that will go over as well because mm -hmm. um, we want as many people to know this information as possible. All right, perfect. Uh, sounds like a great program here. Anything else you'd like to add before we let you go? I just would really encourage um, people who are clergy or even just lay people who are involved with their congregation to reach mm -hmm. out um, because it's so important and it's so prevalent um, and families really have a need for um, their congregation to be a place where they can come and get that comfort and support. All right, perfect. So there you go. Definitely want to uh, go check that out. Seems like a great program here in East Texas. Well,